What would you do if you lost both of your legs in build a boat? Well, I think I would make the coolest prosthetic. But before I can do that, I'm gonna have to break both of my legs. And lucky for me, doing this is actually insanely easy. All we're gonna do is sit down in a chair and place a cake. And then I think all we have left to do is to place a piston and a glue block, and that should be enough. We can kind of walk around like normal, but when I click the piston... Oh, okay, wait, that is not supposed to happen. I think collision off. Yeah, but... <laughs> Dude, look at that. I literally don't have legs anymore. Let me just make everything invisible. And now I'm an amputated boy. So now we can actually start working on our prosthetic. Now, actually, one thing I'm really curious about is if we can actually still sit in chairs. Like, is this gonna work? Or do you... Oh, you don't even need a butt to sit down. Okay, that is good to know. Oh, wait, but it broke our legs. Oh, wait, no, it didn't? Okay, yeah, we're actually good. Now, one of the things I definitely wanna have is a giant wheel. And actually, if I just simply place one of these, as you can see, currently... I am way too freaking small for this wheel. If I put this wheel under my body, I mean, it would literally look ridiculous. Now, one of the things we can do is eat a large candy, and that will make things look a little bit better, but this thing is still way too freaking big for me. So I think we're gonna have to do a giant body glitch. Okay, so if I delete everything right now and actually measure how tall I am, currently we are about five blocks tall. And I think after I equip the right body, oh my God. Yeah, I didn't even eat the big candy yet. And I think I'm already five blocks tall. But actually, I am going to eat the big candy. Yeah, dude, we are absolutely huge right now. So yeah, currently we are almost twice as big. And actually, I think that the giant will actually will look pretty small compared to us. Like, yeah, that doesn't even look that ridiculously oversized. And actually, now that I think about it, I have the perfect body type. Pretty much me riding a mech. And especially when I get rid of the legs, the whole thing starts to make even more sense. Dude, that looks absolutely insane. All right, then next up, I got to figure out how I can actually attach this to my body. Because currently, this is literally just a wheel. And actually thinking about it, I think the most difficult mechanic is going to be making this thing self-balancing. As in, it literally cannot fall over. And actually, one of the things I'm thinking about is if I can self-balance this the same way you'd self-balance a helicopter. All right, let's see if I can actually make this work. Because actually, I think all I need for this is simply a regular wheel that is spinning insanely fast with a good amount of weight on each end. And then I think if we spin this really, really fast, this thing should actually stay balanced. So we're going to set the speed to max with maximum torque. All right, I'm going to anchor this. And if we don't fall over, this could actually work. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Um, <laughs> uh, we're just spinning really, really fast. Yeah, I think I might have actually made things a little bit too heavy, maybe. Like, we definitely do want the weight to be down there. Okay, let's try that one more time with a little bit less weight and also something to keep the bottom part heavier than the top. We're gonna drop it. We're still balanced. And oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it is still just going to make the whole thing freak out. Yeah, that is definitely not going to work. All right, then for my next idea, what about we just use a ton of weight? So that way, no matter what, the top actually stays upright. And for the amount of weight, I actually think we need an insanely large amount because honestly, these wheels are super, super strong. Okay, so that right there is a lot of weight. Let's try that out. And let's try this out because if this is actually enough, this would be super cool. Okay, so it's it's a little bit wobbly, but that is all right. I'm actually going to turn down the speed a little bit. I'm going to connect the wheel to the chair. Okay, so things are kind of working. Wait, why is everything just being kind of weird? Oh, oh my God. Okay, Um. whoa, this is weird. I mean, it is kind of working. Now, we can't really steer this thing. Uh, that is a bit of a problem. But other than that, I mean, it is working pretty okay. Oh, okay. Wait, it, it, it did just flip upside down. That is not really quite what we want to see. Now, this thing is currently pretty flipping hard to control. Oh my god. Wait, I actually just thought of the absolute best way to make anything self-balancing. I'm a freaking idiot. So actually, I don't even think we need the weight or anything else other than one simple trick. And actually, I am so confident in this, I'm actually gonna make my wheel look way better. Because currently, I mean, this right here looks absolutely terrible. So I think the way I wanna do this, I want the chair to be invisible. And actually, when we get rid of our legs, there are still attachments to put something else. And that is actually where I wanna attach the rest of this build. Here, let me show you. Okay, we're gonna drop this whole thing right here. And somehow, I managed to mess the whole thing up. All right, that is more like it. So let me see, when I sit in the chair, okay, currently you can kinda still see my legs, which is a bit of a problem. All right, there you go. Now you can't see them at all. Okay, so pretty much where you see those two pipes right there, that's where we're gonna have to attach some things. So I think that is a 45 degree angle. Okay, you know what? That actually looks so funny. And actually, I just realized that I actually don't have to use the original measurements. I can kind of just make a different pipe for my leg. Something like so. And actually, that already looks way better. And actually, that right there is looking really good. Actually, one of the things I'm currently thinking about is that actually instead, I think I might actually want to use a pipe 
pilot seat, not a driver's seat. And actually for the controls, I think we want to do something pretty weird. So we're going to go, we're going to go forward is shift and backward is control. And actually for the other ones, just literally delete them. We don't need to go right and left. And I forgot to replace it with the pilot seat. Lol. Uh, yeah, we want to just do the same thing, but with the pilot seat instead. All right, there we go. And I think this thing is going to be perfect. Actually, I think we want to make the chair invisible. And now we just want the perfect setup for our body. All right, so I think this should do. It is super simple. And actually, you know what? Because you can also use a firework, I'm just going to use a firework instead because anyone can get a firework. All right, there you go. Just like so. All right, delete the chair. Then all we need is a glue Lock, and I think that should be that done. Yeah, perfect. All right. I think we just got to push these out. There you go. Everything invisible. And there it is, baby. All right, here we go. We're going to sit down and delete our wings, I think. Okay, we can go forward. We can go backward. Now, we do want this torque to be quite a bit lower. We don't want to go too fast, but I think this should actually be perfect. Now, as you can see, we completely fell over, but because we have the pilot seat, we can literally self-balance everything ourselves. So if we actually start driving around as you can see, because we only have one wheel, it is super easy to balance this thing. And oh my god, dude, this is looking so goofy. It almost looks like I have my like legs spread out. And uh, <laughs> this thing is in between my legs. This is like the goofiest looking build I think I have ever made. Okay, you know what? I'm going to run, run these guys over. Bada boom. Well, this is now my build. Thank you very much. Oh, wait. Their, their build is escaping. But actually, I actually think I can actually turn up the torque on this as well. Like, yeah. We can totally, like, drift with this thing. Like, look at us drifting right now, dude! Sheesh! And actually, I have an idea for how we could make the self-balancing work even better. And pretty much the reason why is because a cake will always stay straight. But you know what? If I do this, it might just get a little bit crazy. Okay, so right here we have the chair. And I think what we have to do is just simply replace the chair with, like, a very simple chair. One of these. Just like so. And when I sit down, glue myself stuck again. Okay, currently we are stuck here. <laughs> I think if I drop this entire thing right now, okay, we are staying up and actually I am walking. Oh my goodness. Why am I able to walk? <laughs> okay, this is pretty crazy. And then I think I should be able to just click a lever that turns the wheel on. Now, the one thing I'm a little bit worried about is that if I drive away, changing the settings is going to be very difficult, but I'm just going to do it. Click. Okay. We're going too slow right now. Okay. Orange torque. Okay. Things are moving a little bit goofy right now, but look at this dude. When I'm actually going... I'm actually freaking walking. Oh God, we need more torque. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. I'm actually walking way too freaking fast. Wait, I think it's because my body is actually cl <laughs> too close to the wheel. Wait, what if I eat a small candy? I think we're actually running into problems because I'm big. Right, let's go back to a normal sized body. Oh my God. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What have I done? Uh, I think I might have messed things up real good, but actually... I'm able to control things now. Wait, it's actually working. Now, I'm, I, it looks very bad. Okay, we are going way too freaking fast, dude. Why did I set the speed this high? Why did I do this to myself? Okay, so <laughs> red torque. Okay, we can just simply walk around now as if we are actually controlling this machine. Dude, this thing is so freaky. But hey, at least it's actually working now. Okay, we're going to set the torque up a little bit higher. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what? We're going to just, we're going to just try to go to the end. <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of blocks right now, but... Uh, I think we're going fast enough that it actually doesn't matter. Well, actually, if that one block breaks, I guess the entire thing is just dead. Yeah, this right here is definitely the goofiest car I have ever made. 